is how can they use this in the real world? How can they really remember this, retain this? Engagement, 100% impact. Like, especially in my first period, I have a lot of boys, um, and it was a lot harder to keep them engaged. Most of the time, even if they're not directly doing the game themselves, they're leaning over to watch their buddy play and figure it out. The other side of it is that if there's a kid struggling, it's, Miss Wilson, can I help him get through this? And Which is really awesome because that brings in cooperation and collaboration. And, you know, kids who don't normally even get along have been like, oh man, I can show you how to do that. And, get through it. So um, I had this one kid, he would shut down a lot. Um, he gets angry real easy and, and things like that. But every time he's been playing the games, I haven't had that issue. I mean, even if he's gotten angry, he hasn't shut down because he wants to play the game. My ADD kids that are usually all over the place. Now, while playing the games, they're still the loudest. They're, you know, they're like, oh yeah, man, yeah, did you do that? This is how you do it. And so, but they're engaged in what they're learning and they're not just bouncing off the walls. Everything has to be about learning. The content really has to be incorporated in the game. And there are some really great games and legends of learning that do that. I think that if I sit and have a conversation with my classes, my classes that did Legends of Learning versus my classes that didn't definitely understand the actual concepts better. As far as game-based learning, I think that can be pulled over into the class as a whole, that gaming itself will be a huge part of the, the culture in my classroom. We live in a gamer society and um, kids, especially at this age, they like the competition.